Well, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Things are weird. I'm not gonna say sketchy, but I will say weird. Look at what Ortex posted bashing up SEC early on. The SEC is supposed to release the latest fails to deliver data, right? For the first half of April yesterday. But they didn't. Uh, what they did, they actually filed a duplicate of the second half of March data. And Ortex, you know, I know a lot of people are not fan of Ortex. Don't trust the short interest and in other numbers for AMC and other short squeeze plays. But what they did, they actually reached out to SEC. One hour ago, the Ortex gave an update that SEC actually removed the incorrect data. But still, the fail to deliver for April are missing. And fail to deliver, guys, it's extremely important indicator to see how the price action influence over the fails to deliver. Usually when the price of AMC goes up, the number of fails to deliver also going up. When AMC is having a sell-offs, the fails to deliver are at lower rates. But sometimes things are getting even sketchier when the stock price of AMC remains low but fails to deliver increase. This is why this disparency is very important to be followed up with the exact data at the exact time. This is why I said it's weird that the SEC didn't actually update this particular part of the data from April. And if this wasn't crazy or weird enough, look at the price action for AMC today. The stock was down to 3%, then the stock was up 3, 4, even 5%. What a crazy numbers. And when you look at the box for the option trading, almost each and every strike prices uh, were empty. Essentially, almost no co-options traded at any particular price. There was no single strike price that have open interest that defers to any other. Essentially, nobody was interested in trading options. This is why we saw this price action. And the reason for, for this particular price action for me, believing that it's again controlled price action, is because if we actually uh, see a gamma squeeze, this will be a relentless price action. This won't be 2, 3, 4% and then back to 2, 2 and 3% up. It will be relentless price action. It will be like 6, 7, 8 and then maybe slow down at 6, 7. Potentially you could see like, like a pause or slow down around 6% and then 7, 8, 9, 10 and then 11, 12. It will be like that. It will be a relentless price action in which essentially no matter what they will be dumping as a tools on the market, right? They can dump the entire block of, of, of stocks from dark pool on the open market and they still won't be able to surpass uh, to suppress the price action. This is why uh, seeing this 2-3-4% reversal on the day in which almost for the entirety of the trading session we were down on average 2-3% uh, just put things in completely different context. Uh, we're seeing that they are still in control. It's not a relentless price action. Which again... A lot of people said, well, the new DTCC haircut didn't actually play any role yesterday. Well, yesterday was May 2nd and the settlement date is May 3rd, essentially today. So I'm not sure what this has to do with the price action, but we should put a little more details. So how the, the date in which is effective and the date of the settlement actually plays out on the stock market. Overall market performed very, very well today. As you can see, we can go over the different indices. You can see uh, everything is green uh, and the best performing index is Russell 2000, uh, over 1% gains. Uh, crude oil suffers big time. Crude oil uh, was one of the overpriced items that will follow the trend of, of cooling off. Yesterday, I talked about the real estate, the car market, right? The used or the new car market. Uh, luxurious items, right? Everything will be going to the normal prices. And the crude oil, in my opinion, another financial advice, will be following this trend, finding its level of consolidation. Going back to the AMC price action from today, guys, today it's just Tuesday, right? It is very, very hard to see what they're actually up to. Uh, we're gonna follow up the boxes for the for the strike prices of particular calls. Uh, and we're going to see if there is particular interest, uh, most likely the Wednesday or Thursday, like always, we're going to see some, some dwelling price action, probably in the red line. If not, I don't know, sky's the limit, who knows? Like I said, I want to see a relentless price action. This will convince me 
that we're looking into something unusual on the market, that we, we, we're most likely seeing a price action that couldn't be suppressed by any dumping on the market. So this is what we're going to be looking at. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. I know a lot of you got excited, which is good news. Uh, the week definitely started bad. Tuesday seems to be optimistic. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Guys, subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.